Passengers on the flight dubbed the Miracle on the Hudson are reunited in Manhattan 11 years after their extraordinary ordeal. New York One's Ron Lee is in Kipps Bay with more tonight. Ron. Hey there, Dean. Well, we're at Coppola's restaurant where a close group of friends who don't necessarily live in the city are having the time of their lives, basically sharing stories and laughing. But what makes this gathering even more special is that it involves many people who 11 years ago thought they were going to die as their plane crashed into the Hudson River. I just want to see everybody because it's such a wonderful feeling. Even though we all have our stresses and our our lifestyles can be completely different, we always think about January 15th. Every year for the past 10 years, Denise Lockie and many other passengers who were involved in the miracle on the Hudson have gathered at the same restaurant in New York City to see friends who know firsthand how a near-death experience can give you a newfound appreciation for living life. Denise Locke, A2C. We always identify ourselves by the seat that we sat in that day. The first thing we do is we hug each other, you know, because we're just lucky, we're grateful. Thank you, Sully. Thank you, everybody, for what y'all done to, to save our lives. Barry Leonard organizes these reunions and says he was heading home to see his wife and children in Charlotte, North Carolina, when he broke his sternum as U.S. Airways Flight 1549 made a ditch landing into the Hudson River on January 15, 2009. The plane had lost all engine power when it struck a flock of Canada geese shortly after takeoff from LaGuardia causing pilots Chelsea Sullenberger and Jeffrey Skiles to glide the plane to a ditching on the river, saving everyone on board. Air traffic controller Patrick Harton remembers that day as the most stressful of his life, and he tells New York One he looks forward to these reunions every year. The emergency happened, and honestly, I thought everyone had died, uh, you know, when Sully said he was going in the Hudson River. Meeting everyone, you know, it, it, they became like my family. Um, we call ourselves the 1549 family, and I felt like I was like one of the passengers on the flight with them because I was along for the journey. And looking ahead to next year, organizer Barry Leonard, who sat in seat 1C, tells me these gatherings are so special to him that he says he'll continue to plan them even if only one person RSVPs. In Kips Bay, Ron Lee, New York One.